Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Over the last 24 hours, the price of XRP has fallen a bit along with the rest of the crypto market, but uh, it found some support and it bounced. X XRP don't bounce on up. So <laughs> I want to share with you opinions from a few different chart analysts on this uh, within this video, this latest Moon Nambo hot jam, because uh, there are some indications here that perhaps even within the next couple weeks or so, you're going to see Bitcoin rocket up. Bitcoin leads the market. So that matters to us even as XRP holders. And then inevitably at some point, uh, XRP will follow suit. That's certainly my very strong suspicion here. So uh, plenty to talk about here. Lots of reasons to be positive and feel good about and excited about what's happening within crypto markets right now. But um, I do want to be clear. I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto related stuff, but it's, it's purely as a hobby because I don't have friends and family that are interested in uh, crypto just like uh, just like I am or, or you are. <laughs> I'll tell you, look, so most of, yeah, I think it's fair to say most, most of my friends and family actually do hold crypto and they don't follow it. And I'm not convinced that they really hold very much. I'm not, I don't think that that like by and large, most of my friends and family uh, really understand how truly life-changing crypto can be. Uh, I, I mean, my gosh, the amount of money being made here, like even today after 12 years of the asset class existing, like it is real. It is very real. People are experiencing life-changing wealth very regularly. Now, as I record this, uh, XRP is at a buck fourteen. Bitcoin is at forty-four thousand seven hundred sixty-nine dollars. Market cap for the asset class one point nine four trillion, and Bitcoin dominance uh, sliding again. It's down to forty-three point two nine percent. Um, you can see XRP got down to about a buck oh eight within the last twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hour high was a buck nineteen, but it, so it hit that lower end and then it, it did bounce on up along with the rest of the crypto market, which is is good to see. And you've got uh, the crypto fear and greed index sitting at seventy out of one hundred, indicating that the market is still feeling very greedy, right? Well, very. Not, they don't use the word very here, but greedy. There's a so because look, there's greed and then there's extreme greed. So they're they're feeling people are feeling greedy. You know, they're feeling greedy, but. Uh, I don't think it's time for that to be flipping, uh, you know, in all likelihood. I don't think it's time for that to be flipping uh, into fear anytime soon, uh, based on what I'm seeing from the analysts that I follow on a regular basis. Now, here's a tweet from my fellow XRP YouTuber, the Blockchain Backer. Uh, he shared a chart, which I'll make full screen in just a moment. But first, let me read what he had to say. We've been keeping our eyes on the leaders for signs for the broader market. During the dip yesterday... Solana and Luna both back tested their all time high and today have set newer highs. And so, look, so that's the question. So, this, and I'll make it full screen while I'm talking. Uh, th this is what we've been talking about. I've been talking about this on my channel for the longest damn time. You want to see um, individual cryptocurrencies start to pop off. I've been talking ever since the market tanked, which I, I believe it was May 19th of memory serves. Uh, when the market started tanking and people were losing their ever loving minds, I sure as hell wasn't. I was just having a fun time being in crypto because I knew that like the price pullback was temporary. I, I felt very strong about that. Uh, but anyway, when that when that started happening, I said, okay, well, wait, you know, <laughs> uh, it, it, it's way more likely than not. We're going to see a final leg up, and I've articulated my reasons so many times for reasons I believe that. I'm not going to do it again right now, but I, I firmly believe that there's, I've been saying it for months, that there will be a final leg up. And so this is what you want to start watching for. You start to see some of these individual cryptocurrencies like uh, Solana and Luna start popping uh, these these are the signs that i've been saying yes look for and, and the blockchain backer was pointing that out right here and uh and, and you just wait though it's like this is not the grand finale though the grand finale will be like there'll just be multiple coins every single day it'll seem like for a span of probably like four to six weeks because there's over eight thousand cryptocurrencies all of them are gonna go they're all gonna go parabolic uh the chart formations if history repeats Every single chart is basically going to look the same. It's going to be this huge parabolic run-up, and then uh, and, th and then it's you know bubble fully inflates and then pops. It'll look like here. I'll do the all-time XRP chart. Uh, so this uh, this parabolic move up right here, when XRP ran from twenty something cents up to almost four bucks, uh, th th like every single crypto, every pick a large or mid cap coin, and I do mean literally pick any large or mid cap coin in crypto, they all looked like this. Every single one of them, and so that shows you that the market was not. Uh, it, investing and pumping these coins up based on fundamentals. It was just based on money cycling through the crypto sphere. It wasn't about that. Every single one of them went up. Money cycled, which is why those people that had positions before it pumped 
we're doing well. And this is this is why it can also be dangerous because if you don't understand that this is how humans behave and that money will eventually hit whatever you invested in at some point, like the, the, <laughs> you, you can experience FOMO and that's an emotion. And if you act on that emotion, there's a chance that something might not go so well for you. And so I'm not telling you to buy or sell or hold anything. You do whatever you want. I'm just saying that this is just something that humans do. You're holding, you're holding whatever you're holding and then it feels like all every other coin but yours is going up and, uh, and, and then you, you, if you respond emotionally, you get out of that position and then you chase something that's already run up. So there's not the, as much of a multiplier effect, if any, uh, in whatever you just shifted your money to. And then now your money's out of whatever wasn't moving, but then eventually that goes and then you miss that opportunity. And that's what happened. So that's why for me, um, I'm not, I, like, I don't feel any sort of FOMO when there are coins going up that I don't own. And I happen to not own these two that are pumping. And do you think that I shifted money into them, seeing that everybody else is doing it? Uh, hell no is the answer. The, 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 absolutely freaking not. I, I don't chase things like that. that that's what your, your stereotypical retail investor does. Um, I don't think it's it's a good idea, so I don't do it for myself. You do whatever you want. Again, you, we're all adults here. I think it's not a good idea for myself. And so I personally am not going to be behaving like that. Uh, and you can also see this. I don't want to read this article, but I, I wanted to, to highlight just a little, maybe a little quote from it. But this is from the Daily Hoddle. New investors adopting Doge at levels not seen since 2017 bull run, according to Chainalysis. But there's a catch. Um, and so here's part of a, of a quote from Chainalysis. Of course, demand and price for Doge is largely driven by social media, but we can judge the strength of the response uh, to this from actual activity on the blockchain. The response we see is that Doge is currently being adopted by new investors at a level not seen since the late 2017 bull market. Whoa, don't mind hearing that, do you? And so Doge, yes, being one of the very first coins that has taken off this market cycle. Uh, but again, as I stated, I firmly believe that money is going to cycle through all of the coins. And so this is just one of the first. XRP, more likely than not, will be towards the tail end. That would be my guess. I don't know that for sure. I don't pretend to. But I'm expecting humans to behave more like uh, more or less the same. And historically, XRP legs behind the rest of the market. And I don't even think that's such a bad thing. I, I honestly really don't. Uh, because, you know, I, I want to see how high the rest of the market goes because that's going to give me a how, uh, an idea of how high XRP might go just by looking at the market structure of other coins that launch first. So I actually don't even mind it that much. And I've got other positions anyway. Yeah, XRP is my favorite cryptocurrency and my largest holding, but I, I, I hold like, I don't know, a couple dozen different cryptocurrencies. Like, uh, I, I don't to get mine. Like when the other stuff pops off earlier than that. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm still participating. I'm still having my fun. It's great. Uh, now, here is a tweet from a, a trader named Crypto Trooper who wrote, Bitcoin $50,000 swiftly and then shared this chart. Uh, indicating that within, you know, roughly maybe the next couple weeks or so, this little part we circled right here, uh, thinking Bitcoin's going to be breaking $50,000. Now, somebody tagged chart analyst Credible Crypto and asked for his thoughts on that, and he seems to agree. He wrote the following, lines up with my expectations as well. And he also, as he as he wrote that, he shared a tweet from June 28th, which reads as follows, because he's been, he's been expecting this for some time, by the way. He wrote... If we can break, and he's talking about Bitcoin here. If we can break thirty-five to thirty-eight thousand dollars, I'm looking for a move to forty-five to fifty-five thousand dollars. If we can get to fifty-five thousand dollars, I'll look to hedge short. I know if we manage to get there, many will be euphoric, calling for a new all-time high. When in reality, that region is the most likely place to see a midterm rejection. Have a plan. And by the way, he's not saying that that means it's the end of the bull run. He's saying that once you run up to that level, in his humble opinion, more likely than not, you're going to see a pullback. But that's just because nothing goes up in a straight line forever. And so then in response to that, um, somebody responded, somebody named Eric asked uh, Credible Crypto the following, didn't you say the same, uh, exact same thing about XRP and $1, then it pumped 30% past and your short got liquidated, LMAO. So there's somebody here who just, uh, this guy just wanted to put out a jerky comment. People do this though. I'll tell you what, man, like um, <laughs> the, the chart analysts in crypto, they get the most harsh comments compared to like anybody else in crypto. Like, like seriously, but if you're, I feel I, I'm nothing but sympathy for the chart. Like you have to have a thick skin to be a chart analyst. Your social media can be ruthless. And there's mostly like good, decent people out there, but I'm just saying, my gosh, some of these people, and this isn't even nearly one of the worst ones. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, some people are just not, not so nice. So anyway, Incredible Crypto responded with the following though. I don't think I ever would have shorted XRP 
on strength. And believe it or not, even if I did, there are these amazing things called stop losses that prevent people from getting liquidated. You should look into them. <laughs> I thought that was a good response. Uh, here's a simple tweet from chart analyst Michael, Michael Vandepop, who simply wrote, this recovery is a good sign for the markets. Yes, indeed, sage wisdom. And so it, it was nice to see that the market, you know, it, yes, fine. Over the last 24 hours, we did see things go down for Bitcoin, XRP, pick your cryptocurrency. Uh, but man, they really bounced. They really did bounce off of that. So uh, perhaps we're not going to see things get much more bloody, if at all. And uh, within the next week or two, don't be surprised, say many analysts that I follow, to see uh, to see Bitcoin above $50,000. Now, here's a poll that chart analyst Michael Vandepot put out. And, um, and 17,650 people voted on this thing. And he simply, uh, he simply wrote, Bitcoin is in A, and then there are two options. You could pick bear market or bull market. So he's asking you to say if you think that Bitcoin is in a bear market or a bull market. And this is an interesting time to ask because... Um, when this was published, uh, which was about uh, 13 hours ago, 8.30 a.m., uh, like, like this is when things were looking a little bit scarier, right? Uh, we, we had seen the pullback and then things ended up bouncing up. So people were probably a bit more fearful and then whatever is happening in the moment, uh, just emotions, oh my gosh. And then people respond accordingly, right? Uh, and so 76.6% um, of people say that Bitcoin's in a bull market. But 23.4% say bear market. And if you had asked, I bet 24 hours before that, it probably would have been like, I don't know what, but who knows? 90% would have said bull market. I don't know. Uh, but I just thought of it. I was like, wow. So the market started to tank. Michael Van Pop was just taking the temperature in the room. And there you go. So about a quarter of humans out there that read this. He's got a big following, mind you. He's got uh, 300, 370,000 followers on Twitter. So... Like that's a that's a big sample, seventeen thousand six hundred fifty, and almost a quarter of the people that responded think that Bitcoin's in a bear market. My my friends, this is your competition. They actually think that they they feel something and then bam. And you know a lot of these people are uh, emotionally buying and selling. You know they're fomoing in. They're they're chasing stuff, which is like one of the worst things investors can do in my humble opinion. And then they're panic selling. And, and now we're in a bear market. And that's like, I bet if you ask the same poll like tomorrow, assuming we like say say price goes up again tomorrow, well, they'll change their mind. Like oh I, oh not bear market, oh bull market now. Like come on, like what in the ever loving hell, guys? Come on, <laughs> this is why we cannot have nice things. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. Um, XRP, uh, it's just an inevitability. At some point, XRP will hit its all time high and then enter a new realm of price discovery. That is my strong suspicion. Let me know what you think below, though. I do love hearing what you all think and how you're feeling about the markets today. But as far as I'm concerned, despite this little pullback, hey, nice bounce. Things are looking good. We're trending upwards still. Uh, we still got that final leg up for this market cycle. Then the bubble will be fully inflated at some point, and it will pop. And then you're going to see some true panic. You will see blood in the streets, basically. Yeah. Uh, but, but I'm going to have fun, though, because like I will be purchasing everybody's fear. That's, that's what I'll be doing when that happens. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.